Lord has made. In it we shall, hallelujah, in it we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. And I love the sentiments of David, my brother, when he said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Because God has been good, hasn't he? Amen. And 
I tell you, the doc, he told me that stuff, man. It, it didn't scare me, but it really made me aware. It opened my eyes. Amen. Amen. Because we take so much for granted, y'all. Hallelujah. Man, we take so much for granted. Because we just, after so long, we just feel it ought to go, you know. Everything ought to go the way it's supposed to go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. But that go not for the grace of God. Oh, yeah. If not for the grace of God, can I get a witness? Amen. Hallelujah. So we praise him. We bless the great God of our salvation today for all of his mercy. All of his kindness, amen, all of his goodness towards us, amen, because certainly can't nobody do us like Jesus, amen. Amen, amen. hallelujah. Can't nobody do us amen. like the Lord, amen. amen. And so amen. we love him today and we glorify him to be able to one more week, one more Sabbath day to be, amen, alive in the land of the living, amen, and to be able to be um, available to be a part of God's program, amen. Because in that he woke us up, he didn't have to give us our right mind. No, he didn't. Amen. He didn't have to give us our right mind, Mike, amen. We, you know, we could be laying there, we could have been got up, we could be walking around, shaking like a leaf on a tree, babbling, don't know where we at, who we are, drooling at the mouth and all that kind of stuff. But again, his goodness, his mercy, somebody say hallelujah, amen. It was one thing to wake you up, but it was something else to get you going, amen. amen. Start showing your way, amen. It was something else, amen, to give you the right mind to say, it's Sunday, let me go get God some praise. And that's different when some people say, let me get up and let me just go to church. Mm. Amen. Because going to church don't have to really mean a whole lot. Well, it could mean a whole lot because at least you're in the right place. Let me not put it in doom and gloom. At least you're in the right place, my mama, 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 um, I become mommy vine. Uh, uh, you're at least in the right place. Amen. Now, if, if, if you don't put too much in it, that's on you, but at least we're in the right place. Amen. Because some folk don't even have that part on their mind. Amen. But how much we owe God, we owe him everything. Amen. We owe God everything. Amen. And so we thank him, we love him, we bless his name today. He tells us in his word that men ought to always pray. Amen. And not faint. Amen. So I, and, and I look at that and where that salutation suggests is this, then if we are praying, then we're not fainting. Amen. If we're not praying, then we're not fainting. If we're praying, we're not fainting. And that's what we want to do. We don't want to faint. Can I get a witness? Amen. We want to be continually be found praying. Amen. Praying to God, our Father, and asking Him to continuously, amen, to uh, look upon us, asking Him to continue to allow His face to shine upon us, continually asking Him to allow His mercy to be upon our lives, amen, and continue to ask, seek His face for His favor, for His guidance, amen, asking Him to continue to allow His kindness to overshadow our lives, amen, and allow us to have the, the, the proper sense and, and, and knowledge to know that, again, as we just said, that we owe him everything. Amen. 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 And that we bless his name for all of his good, kindness, wondrous works towards us that he has wrought and that he has done and is doing. Amen. Amen. In our lives. Amen. And so we owe him everything today. And what we owe him is definitely show enough our praise. Amen. Amen. We owe him our praise, amen. And in that we owe him our praise, amen, it is totally indicative to the fact of realizing, amen, that, amen, he's the best friend that we'll ever have, amen. He's the best friend, he's the best brother, sister, father, mother, husband, wife, amen. He's the best friend we will ever have, amen. amen. Because then that backs up that song, Mama, then we sing, can't nobody do me like Jesus, amen. Because truly he is our friend today, amen. So as we make our way toward the altar, we want to come, amen, believing and knowing that God is truly, yes, a God that hears and answers prayer. We want to come believing, knowing that there's nothing too big, 
nothing too small, no problem of any matter or sort that God cannot handle, that God cannot solve, that God cannot undertake. Can I get a witness? Amen. There's no situation, amen, that he cannot bring us through, amen. All we have to do is have faith, amen, and believe that what that God not only can, but that he will. Hallelujah. Answer prayer. Amen. And you ain't got to beg him either. Amen. You, you ain't got to beg him and you ain't got to ask him a whole bunch of times. Amen. Just take your burdens. Somebody say take your burdens. Take your burdens, take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. Amen. Because he will fix it. How many know he'll fix it today? Amen. 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 Won't he fix it for you? He will. He will fix it for you. Amen. So as we come, amen, as we come, if there are any prayer requests, you can raise them up and we will, amen, take them to the Lord in prayer. If there are any unspoken, you can just simply say unspoken. God already knows, amen. God already knows, but amen. And want to be praying for ourselves, continually pray for us to, amen, see the Grove Church, that God will continue to be found in us, that he will continue to work in us and work on us, that he will continue to bless us only as he can, amen, that he would continue, amen, to do what no other power can do, amen, because truly God specializes, amen, he specializes in things, amen, that seem impossible, but he will do, he will do what no other power, no other power can do. Amen. I want to be praying for a continue. We ask prayer for us. Amen. The Darby family. We want. Amen. Uh, we want to. We always put ourselves. Amen. In prayer on the altar because I don't know about you, but I need God. Amen. amen. And I need Him every day of my life. I'm not gonna play short and act like I got it all together because I don't. I need God each and every day of my life. Amen. amen. Because there's some days that he let me wake up. It don't seem like it's a day that I might get through, amen. Because I got my I got my, my issues, amen. I got my, my, my stuff. But again, his grace, amen, somebody. His grace is mercy, amen. Before it's me to get through that day, man. And I sure enough thank him too, because I know without him I would be nothing. Amen. Without the Lord, we would be nothing. Amen. But we can praise his name as that song says that with him we are truly like that ship without him we would be that ship without a sail but because of his love for us amen he, he keeps on doing great things for us amen and we want to be praying that as prayer last week um, last two weeks with my cousin we want to give a praise report to that he's Lord strengthen him and bless him. He's out the hospital. He got out yesterday and our sister went and picked him up. Amen. Thank God. We're grateful to God for that. Keep him yet in your prayers. Amen. Keep him yet in your prayers. But at least God did touch him, allowed him to get strong enough to be able to get home. Amen. Sometimes we are on worse sitting, you know that? Because the doctor tell us what to do, but then we don't want to do what the doctor say do. That's just stupid in my book, amen. That makes no sense at all. But the doc, God gave the doctor the knowledge, but then he tell us what to do, and then we don't do it. Then when we get sick or worse of the situation, we want to be mad and blame the, 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 the doctor told you what to do, amen. Obey the, obey the doctor, amen. He's the voice of God, amen, on this end, giving us, the, amen, the help we need for our bodies when they need, amen. But keep him in prayer that God would um, do a, a complete work on his life, amen. I want to lift also um, two of my brothers, amen. I want to be, uh, that's just a prayer from my, my very good friend, um, Overseer T. T. Dilbert Robertson, my brother, he was pastor of, <coughs> um, amen, uh, the Zion um, Temple, the Evangelist Temple in Compton now, so Pilgrim's Hope Baptist Church here in LA. He's been elevated, amen, um, God elevated him. Uh, he's married to Bishop Paul Morton's daughter, Sister Jasmine, and God has blessed him and uh, 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 elevated him to become the pastor of uh, Bishop Morton's churches in, uh, in Louisiana, amen. And so we want to send him with our prayers, amen. 
that God will continue to bless him and use him in the way that he would see fit. Amen. And pray for one another. Pray for our church that God will continue to bless us and use us for his glory and for his honor. Any other, any other, any other, any other. Amen. Any other. Praise God. Bless his name. Amen. As we go to the Lord in prayer, amen. Father God, we come this morning, oh God, with humbled hearts, oh God, as we come with um, hearts uplifted to you, oh God, um, thanking you for this just another day. Lord, we come humbly, we come, oh God, submissively, we come, oh God, before your throne, and we come, oh God, as your dear children. We come as, oh God, to a, a, a full fountain and even empty pitchers, waiting, desiring, requesting to be filled, oh God, to be filled with your goodness, to be filled with your love, to be filled with your grace, to be filled with your mercy, to be filled with your love and your joy divine. Father God, here we are once again, standing in the need of prayer. Yes, it is me. It's me, it is me, oh Lord, and I'm standing in the need of prayer. Lord, I'm standing in the need of prayer. You know the situations that I'm standing in need of. Lord, you know the point of views that's going on in my life that I can't totally control. Lord, I'm standing, oh God, complete in you saying, Lord, I need your help and I need it right away. Lord, Lord, I need you to fix it. I need you to turn it around. Hallelujah. I need you to be Jesus. I need you to be Dr. Jesus. I need you to be lawyer Jesus. I need you to be uh, a counselor Jesus. Lord, I need you on every hand. I need you in every case, matter, and situation, point of view of my life. Lord, I love you and I thank you for being a prayer. Answering God. Lord, we love you today for being a prayer. Answering God because we know God, that there's nothing too hard for you. There's nothing too hard for you, oh God. There's no problem that you cannot solve. There's no situation that you cannot undertake. So Lord, by your power today, we ask right now that by your power and by your spirit, you would move, oh God, on every case, on every matter in the lives of your people today. Right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, loose the shackles that bind, oh God, your people. Loose the chains that hold us, oh God, in bondage from giving you all that you will want out of our lives and out of our servitude, out of our lives, oh God. Create in us, as David said, clean hearts and renew the right spirits within us, oh God. We want to be right. We want to be saved and we got to be whole, oh God. We pray that you will search us through and through, oh God, if you find it anything that shouldn't be. We ask and pray that you would take it out and strengthen us. We want to be right. We want to be saved. We want to be whole. Father God, we thank you for every good and every perfect gift because we know that they all come from you. We know that they all come from heaven, the heaven's lights. We know that they all come from your celestial throne. And we give your name praise today. We give your name glory today. We give your name honor today. We worship your name today in spirit and in truth. We say hallelujah to your name today because you prove yourself to be a good God. One more day we say hallelujah to your name today because you didn't allow us to to, to gain or to suffer what we deserve. We say thank you Jesus because you've been a way maker. We say thank you Jesus because you've been a burden bearer. We say thank you Jesus because you've been a heavy load sharer. We say thank you Jesus because you've been good to us. And we say thank you because you look beyond our faults and you see our needs. Lord we thank you today. We had 10,000 tongues we couldn't use them enough to lift your name. If we had 10,000 hands, we couldn't clap them enough to praise your name. But God, what you gave us and what we have that we can't use today, we use it to say hallelujah to your name. We lift our voices and we say hallelujah to your name today. We take our hands and we clap them today in praise to your holy and righteous name today. Lord, we take our feet that you bless us to walk in your tabernacle in and we tap them, oh God, to the glory of your name. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, that you didn't suffer uh, suffer uh, death to take us, oh God, by chance. You covered us with 
with your blood, you covered us with your grace. You covered us with your love and your mercies divine, oh God. You gave us this one more day. Sabbath day to come and to give your name the praise. Give your name all glory which is due you to lift and to glorify your holy and righteous name. Father, bless our worship today. Let it be all that you would have it to be, O oh God. Lord, as we come, we're not coming in shape, form, or fashion. We're coming to give you the praise, God. We're coming to worship you. We're coming to lift your holy and righteous name. So then, O oh God, we pray that, that you bless each home represented. Bless, O oh God, continue to meet every need, God. We pray that you would not let a refrigerator, a cupboard go bare as we be servants to you as unto you, as we give unto you not only our service, but our time and our talents, Lord, our finances. Bless us in every way, O oh God, we pray. Rebuke the devourer for our sake. We bind Satan even now that we want to hinder us or blockade us from serving you and giving you our best. We praise your name today. We glorify you. We lift you up. We praise your holy and righteous name today. Oh God, continue to fill us with your love. Continue to fill us with your grace. Continue to shower your goodness upon us, oh God. Continue to keep your people well. We thank you that you're keeping us well. We thank you that you're keeping us well. We thank you that you're keeping us well. We're not suffering any issues. We thank you that you're keeping us well. You're making and you're making COVID behave. We thank you that everyone is well, oh God. We give you praise today. We give you glory. We give you honor today. Thank you for what you've done for Brother Ronnie, oh God. Continue to be Dr. Jesus. Can see him through completely, oh God, we pray. Lord, we just ask right now that your will be done. Your will, not ours. Your perfect will be done, oh God. Bless the family of the loved one that was lost. His mother is um, being with, going to be with them on Friday. Touch them right now at the point of their need. We don't know them and we don't have to know them, but we lift them up to you today, yes. asking that you would undertake, yes. that you would intervene only as you can. Yes. See to their needs, we pray. Yes. Lift us up, oh God. Lift us up where we belong, yes. to a place, oh God, that's higher in you. Continue to bless us, oh God. Continue to use us for your glory and for your honor. Let everything yes. that we say and do, yes. Lord, let it be pleasing unto you as you allow our lives to bring glory to your name. It's in your precious name we pray and ask it all. We put our hands together and we bless his name and we say thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Come on, let me hear you. Thank God. Let me know you love this morning. Thank God. And amen. Oh God, before you even now, asking, requesting that, oh God, that you would, <clears throat> oh God, speak now, your servant heareth. Yeah. Father God, as we even now open your sacred, your holy book to impart, oh God, passage of scripture that you impressed it on our hearts to prepare, to, to share, to enlarge, to edify. <clears throat> to, O oh God, exhort your people. Father God, we stand, we stand, O oh God, not in ourself, but we do stand totally and completely in you. Amen. Your word tells me that I can do all things through you who strengthens me. Amen. So, God, I render myself, and even as I have supplied the mechanics, I yield even now, and I pray that you send the dynamics. Amen. Live, move, breathe, O oh God, through this, your holy, written, and yet now spoken word. Yes. Father God, we pray that it would accomplish, that it would go out as out of my mouth, oh God, that it would go out and accomplish that what it set out to do. Let not one word turn void, oh God, but that it would rest upon listening ears, that it would rest upon pruned hearts, that it would rest upon meat, and, and let it rest, oh God, on till tilted ground, oh God, that it might germinate, yeah. root, and grow until the tender plant that you would have it to be. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh. Spirit of the living God, 
Fall fresh. Yes, yes. Spirit of the living God. Fall fresh. Hallelujah. This day, yes. as we ask each time that we stand, that we stand not in ourselves, but that we do stand totally and completely in thee. Hide us beneath your cross. Allow your blood to fluently flow. We pray and ask even now, bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed us till we want no more. Think with my mind, fill with my heart, speak with my mouth and my tongue, and then make me sensitive, O oh God, to that. But you would have to say that your word would impart unto us today. Lord, we love you and we thank you. We give you in glory, honor, and praise. It's in Jesus' name we pray. And for his name's sake, we pray. Every heart say amen. 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 And amen. amen. Y'all can come on down if y'all come. Amen. Bless your heart. Let's give the choir some love. Amen. amen. I love what they're doing because they're doing it in spite of. Amen. 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 They're doing it in spite of. And God's going to richly reward them, amen, amen, for their honor of sacrifice unto him, amen. <clears throat> Turn with me to the book of St. John. St. John chapter 14. I love this passage of scripture. <clears throat> it's one of my... John, what? Love I think we see the St. John 14. chapter 14. 14. Amen. In a minute, Michael has us all hooked up because he's going to have his TVs up. Amen. Amen. He's going to put the scripture on the TV. Amen. 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 We're going on up higher. Amen. Higher in the Lord. St. John chapter 14, St. John chapter 14, we're going to uh, put our thoughts, uh, center our thoughts around, amen, center our thoughts around, amen, chapter, verses, verses 15. To 24. St. John chapter 14, beginning at verse 15. We're going to travel down to verse 15. I'll have it say amen. If you're still looking, say wait for me. Amen. Everyone have it. Amen. <clears throat> the word reads this way. <clears throat> Excuse me. This passage of scripture is talking about the promise of the Spirit. It's actually a continuance of Acts last week that we talked from on last Sunday. It's a perspective in what Jesus gave them to know on last week in relations to, who remember what the subject was last week? The promise, the promise. It was the promise that Jesus gave saying to them, amen, that the Father was going to send them another comforter, you remember? That he would lead them and guide them through all truth. And then the two-part message of the promise was that he was going away. But just as they saw him go away, that he would come back in like manner. Today, this point of view, amen, is from John's perspective. And as I shared with you, all of the disciples, the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they were written in the perspective of the author of that gospel, and they wrote it as they saw it. Some must say amen. amen. 
So this is John's depiction of that perspective that we shared on last week in the book of Acts. Speaking of the promise of the Spirit. Verse 15, if ye love me, keep my commandments. I could stop right there. And I will pray the Father, and he, watch this, shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Then the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot see, cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be with you, be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more, but ye see me because I live. Ye shall live also. At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me and I in you. He that he that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father. And I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Judas said to him, not as carried, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? Good question. Jesus said that, answered and said unto him, if a man love me, he will keep my words and my father will love him and he will come unto him and make our abode with him. Verse 24, he that loveth me not, keepeth not my sayings, and the words which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. Amen. God bless you. God bless you for your respect. Amen. Your respect and author uh, reference to the amen, author of the word, amen, of God. I do believe this to be the word of God this morning, amen. I suggest it to us, amen, in that fashion. I embrace the words of scripture where the gospel writer records before one jot or one tittle of this word shall pass away heaven and earth shall pass away but the word of our God. Someone say the word of our God, word of God. shall stand forever. And I believe that to be so even this day. And if you believe that with me, just give God a wave offering and say even this day. Even, <clears throat> even this day. Amen. By way of subject, amen, by way of subject, we want to to tag this passage of scripture to this premise and this thought. And that is simply asking you the question, do you really love him? Do you really love him? Seems like a very valuable question to ask. Why do you say that, Bishop? I say that because the Bible declares that everyone that says, Lord, Lord, will not make it in. Can I get a witness? Amen. That ain't what I said. That ain't what Bishop Douglas That's what God said. That's what his word said. He that, he said, all that says, Lord, Lord, shall not make it in. He also says that the last shall be first. Amen. And that the first shall be last. Mm -hmm. 
suggesting that those that have uh, they act as if they have such a contingency on uh, on him and on the word and uh, you know you got some that are caught up lofty and, and high and uh, 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 lofty in their uh, way and perspective about how they go about and do God's business. Amen. There's nothing wrong with, uh, I had to share with a, with a brother not too many weeks ago we were talking. Um, um, he made a comment. He said, Doc, you so confident you cocky. I said, no, 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 no. I got to pull you on that, Doc. By no means am I cocky, but I am confident. There's a difference. Can I get a witness? Mm -hmm. In confidence and cockiness. Cockiness is what I'm relating to right now in relation to those that are some that, you know, fear and they act as if they have a monopoly. Mm -hmm. Can I get a witness? Mm -hmm. On doing God's work, or doing God's business. And the last time I checked, he said that this book was of no private interpretation. That means it don't belong to nobody but him. Amen. Amen. Can I get a witness? It's his word. Right. It's what he has to say. It's what he left for us as a blueprint, as a pattern, if you will, as a, a road map, as a source for us to make it through this treacherous terrain, terrain called the earth and all that's in it that's ungodly and holy with him and through this road map called the Holy Bible make it to heaven. All right. oh, that say Lord, Lord should not make it in. That says that be careful who you give ear to. Amen. Right. Mm -hmm. Say this, now, I can't help but be mean, um, and I appreciate y'all love me and let me be mean. Be careful who you let speak to your temple. All right, now, man. Be careful who you listen to. Be careful that who you give uh, access to your inner spirit, your temple, be careful. Everybody is not talking about God. And everybody that say they are of God are not. And everybody that suggests God sent them, God did not. There's a lot of people that just, just win because it's what they wanted to do. You got some that just jumped up and said, you know, I'm going to do this because it looks pretty prosperous to me. Well, uh, you call it what you want. Amen. This job right here, uh, don't get in it for no thought. You're going to get rich and get your pockets filled. Cause then, if that's what you're coming for, you need to go to another profession. Amen. <clears throat> Paul, I tell you. Every missionary journey he went in, amen, went on. When he went to East City, amen, they received, some received him joyfully and some did not. Amen. Some wish he didn't even come. He can bypass us. Won't you just go on back to Corinth? Mm -hmm. We don't need you over here in Philippi. We all right. We got it together. All that say, Lord, Lord, ain't going to make it in. Jesus is speaking in this passage of scripture saying simply and I love how he says it because 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 brother Mike he says this just as real as he could say it. He didn't put no sugar on it. He didn't dash no miss. He didn't sprinkle no miss dash on it. He didn't sprinkle no 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 guave or no or, or raw and sugar. He he sure see it ain't. He came straight from here. He said, "If ye love me, yeah. mm -hmm. 
Chantel, <coughs> not might, not maybe. If you love me, keep yes. my commandments. Mm -hmm. Notice verse 15. He did not give any option. He, there is a period behind the word commandments. Mm -hmm. He didn't place a comma as if he was running on his sentence. He didn't push a semicolon suggesting that he was yet continuing that statement. He ended it with a period at the end of commandments. Ye, if you love me, keep my commandments. Now, why would Jesus be so, uh, why would Jesus be so, um, so raw with his disciples? They, 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 you know, doing no wrong. They, they right there with him every day. They serve him, love him. They, they right there with him. They eat from the same dish, amen. They suffer from the same bowl, amen. He, he's giving them the words of life to the kingdom, and he's teaching them, and, and everything's great, everything, you know, he's, they right there with him. But, the, but not so much about what they were doing, but more so in the fact of what they will be doing. Can I get a witness? They, what they will be doing was the point of view. Why? Because just, just a little while from now, he's going to conform to, he's going to do what he had been telling them he was going to do, which was, I'm not going to be with you always. Right. Yeah. They didn't figure what he was really relating to. They had no idea that he was talking about, I'm going away back to heaven. Mm -hmm. But he showed them, did he not? Amen. I said he showed them, did he not? Amen. Last week we caught him in the whole, in the whole perspective. As he said what he said to them last week, he said he began, the word said he began to ascend uh -huh. until he got so high where a cloud yeah. took him out of that sight. All right, if you love me, watch this, keep my commandments and I will pray the Father and he shall give, he shall give you another comforter. And that will he may abide with you forever. Amen. The promise of the Spirit. And even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot see, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him. For he dwelleth with you, and ye and shall be, watch this in you. Yes. See, the one thing that the world has the problem with is with you, me, and all of us that call ourselves Christians and that call ourselves people that are living for God, amen, uh, they, 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 they say that we're not all that we say we are because they cannot see what the motivation is behind our praise. Mama B, they can't see the, 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 the motor that's working within us that, that makes us, amen, smile when we feel like crying. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yeah. They don't have nothing to do with knowing how that motor, amen, within us, Mommy Bond, can keep us uh, steadfast and unmovable and always abounding in the work of the Lord, even when we're hurt and sad and despondent and rejected and, and up. strike out a little, her little song says something within me that holdeth the rain. Right. She said, Mama, that is something within me I cannot mm -hmm. explain. Yeah. Yeah. Something within me yeah. that holdeth the rain. Lord, all I know, praise God Hallelujah. for that something within Miserable. Mm. 
yourself? Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. Oh, so okay, you so bad. Okay, so when that lady, that 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 lady cut you off the other day, it was you all along that just pulled back and didn't want to give her no explicit words. You you you, you retained just like you kept it, huh? That's a good one, Mama J. No, because you, if it was not for the grace of God, you were ready to give him something. And you probably still gave it to him, you just didn't say it out loud. Oh, help the Holy Ghost. But praise God for that something within. Why? Because it's that something within that keeps us when we're ready to go fear left. It's that something within, amen, that keeps us when we're ready to let them have a piece of our mind. Y'all ain't saying nothing. It's that something within, amen, that restrains us and that restricts us from, amen, being ready and so ready and act to let somebody have a piece of my mind. It's that something within, bless his holy name, that, that, that restricts us from being otherwise than the child of God. Yeah. That we are. And we all have our moments. Mm -hmm. yeah. I ain't, I'm going to act like y'all ain't sitting there. I'm going to bring my bow down. I know I have problems. Yeah. I know I have issues. Yeah. All right. And you tell the truth, you do too. Yeah. If you love me, he says, mm -hmm. to his men, keep my commandments. Yeah. Now the problem there is, and I'm about done, the problem there is, like I said, he said, he said, the problem being there is that the world mm -hmm. ain't going to understand you. Mm -hmm. you. You know, they're not going to understand who you're going to be. Because right. he's preparing them because he's getting ready to go. All right. he, as I said, he's preparing them because he's getting ready to go. Right. He's fixing their hearts and minds for the journey. Yeah. And he didn't promise them that the journey would be easy. Can I get a witness? No, no, no. He didn't promise them that it would be a, 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 a bed of a roses. Amen. He didn't promise that it would be a, 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 a bed of ease. He's letting them know that you are going to have some troubled times. Yeah. Folks are not going to receive you. Uh -huh. Folks are not. Your own. Yeah. Right. He said, I came to my own and my own received me not. Amen. But as to me that received them, gave me what? The power to become what? The sons of God. Even to them that believed on his name. That's why the door, when he opened up the veil, when he rent the veil, everybody can have access now. You can come to him if you want it. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. But that's all the old school say, Mama Judge, you can have it if you want it. Yeah. If you want it, you can have it. Amen. He's free. To all a healing stream. Psalm oh, says flows mm -hmm. from Calvary's mountain. Yeah. They don't understand, they're not going to understand the Jesus in you. Well. They see you at work and you walking in there. Amen. The boss just gave a, 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 a email, a notice. That, Saying that uh, 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 you know, I might have to do some, some cutbacks or I might have to cut the hours or something to that degree that you ain't gonna, that's gonna be uncool, you ain't gonna like, but you still at work and you still got a smile on your face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They ain't gonna understand that, Nora. Or they ain't gonna understand how you still got the joy of the Lord that says your strength and you just got gave a bad news that, hey amen, in about two more weeks, uh, uh, Lord, I need my money. Amen. Can I get a witness, somebody? Amen. Yeah. But you can go in that in that dismal perspective, bless His name, and you can go in that, in that and face that. You can face that with yet the joy of the Lord as your strength. Because guess what? He says, see, they don't know about that something within. All right. Ha! <laughs> they don't know about the Jesus in you. Yeah.
but you broke, you broke, you plucked asunder, you broke the snare, yeah. and you delivered me Hallelujah. from the snare Amen. of the fowl. Yes, he says, they cannot receive because it seeth him not. They have no idea about the joy that's in your heart. Amen. You walking around, victory, victory shall be mine. Victory, victory shall be mine. And you getting on their nerves so much that like some of them really do hate you. All right now. You better know they do. All right, they ain't your buddy from friend chunks, from buddy chum and friend when the God when the Lord is working on your behalf. Don't you fool yourself and think they cool with you. Amen. That same one that's your buddy, and they can even be a ride share with you, will cut you because of the goodness of God in your life. Amen. I know that's real. I can stop preaching right now. That sort of is the truth. Because, see, it's enmity. It's enmity. It's enmity. The power of God is operating in your life. It's enmity between them and God. That's right. They can't get on board unless they submit to him. They know him not. He said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you yet a little while. And the world sees me no more. See me. Why? Because I live. Ye shall live also. Behold, I'm going away. To prepare you a place yes, that where I am, yes, there ye may be also. Yes, As I told you last week, he told the disciples, it's expedient yes, that I go. Yes, In other words, I must go. Yes. I, I, I need to, to give you the perspective of this thing that's giving you to know that I must go back home yeah. to my father. Yeah, I have a throne mm -hmm. that's sitting there unoccupied yeah. that's waiting for me to come back to. Not only do I have a throne but I have a throne that's empty and that's waiting for me to get back to and I have the right hand of my father to amen come back to because amen he he sent me here not to stay he sent me here to just to come and to deliver the message of good news to everyone that believed it yeah. he said I came I came just to set men free right. he said I came not only to set them free, but I came to let them know that that real love is available to them. Amen. As available to all that would receive it. Amen. Can I get a witness today? Amen. As I leave you this morning, I want to leave you on the note to understand and let you have the, the clear understanding that says to us all today that he says at that day Jesus said, ye shall know that I am in my Father, yeah. and that my Father is in me, yeah. that ye shall be in me and my Father, and ye in me and I in you. Yeah. Just simply saying that, amen, once you get the understanding in your life, and on your mind that that I am mm -hmm. that I am All right. if you get the understanding in your heart that I came for one reason yeah. mm -hmm. and that one reason was to give man an opportunity yeah. at, at grace and at salvation yeah. man had become wicked Man had become wicked and wise. Well, too good, too smart for his own britches. Yeah, right. Can I get a witness today? 
But Jesus went the will of his father, said, Father, I'll go. Yeah. He said, I'll go down to sin, curse, earth. Yeah. And I will carry out redemption's plan. Yeah. But before we celebrate today, I want to keep us ever reminded of the fact do you really love him today? Because if you really love him today, hallelujah, he says to simply keep my commandments. That simply says whatever, whatever I have told you to do in my word, just do it. Y'all ain't gonna pray with me here. Simply 
do his will. I know it seems a little racy, but if you just trust him, if you just trust him, don't doubt in your mind. Don't doubt in your heart. He will manifest himself. He will. He said it. I will keep them in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on me. I'll manifest myself unto you. I'll keep you. I'll rebuke the hellhounds from you. I'll lift you up to a place that I could only put you. I'll present you before mighty men. I'll manifest myself to you. Well, 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 well. Lastly, you really want me to manifest myself to you? On a hill. I did it already. On a hill. Himself to the whole world. He said to the world, to his daddy, on public display, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. He manifested himself to us. He hung, he bled, and he died. Can I get a witness from the sixth? Alright. I serve a risen Savior. 
He's in yes, he the world today. Yes, he is. I know that he is living. Hallelujah. No matter what men may say, yes. I see yes. his hand of mercy. I hear his voice of cheer. Yes. And just in time, I need him. I need him. He's all.
Everyone say amen. 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 Let's give God a hand of praise.